we're continuing to ask questions after dozens of 10 News viewers called in concerned about high property assessments in Roanoke City. Yeah, it's a big problem because people's taxes are going up. Yeah. So 10 News reporter Abby Coleman joins us tonight. She's in the newsroom. And Abby, you've been asking these questions directly with, uh, to city officials. That's right. I read your questions and took them directly to the director of real estate valuation. He sat down with me this morning and walked me through how a property assessment works and what to do if yours doesn't look quite right. Monday, I introduced you to Randy Pullman, a Roanoke resident whose property valuation has jumped 34 percent in two years, making his real estate taxes go up, too. We're not going to be able to afford to live. I brought his concerns to Casey Bratton director of the Office of Real Estate Valuation. I know that a lot of people in the area are currently upset with their assessment. I've gotten a lot of emails yes. talking about how they're upset with how high the valuation is. Yes. I mean, what would you have to say to those people? If you do, I mean, the, the key, like we talked about earlier, was is that if you feel like your property won't sell for what we have it assessed for, that's the time to take action and call us. Roanoke City Code requires assessments every year. Bratton says valuations are largely based on the sale of other houses in your neighborhood. And the sales are the sales are determining what's going on in the market. It's not anything. There's no magic behind it. It's just we look at data. And Roanoke has a staff of nine appraisers. What does that criteria look like? Well, typically we look at the condition of the property, and then we also we're out. We we do field inspections, so our appraisers go out and they do uh, uh, field inspections. So they'll knock on the door. You can answer it or not. I mean, typically we don't always get answers, and they'll go through a battery of questions that to, to describe to describe for you to you know answer relative to your house. If you want to appeal your assessment, it's actually pretty easy. First, you need to go to the real estate valuation website. Print out the form titled Real Estate Appeal Form. You put your name and your address, and then you can start checking why you want your property reassessed, either because it's higher than the fair market value or lower than the fair market value, or maybe for another reason. Once you fill out the rest of the form, along with your valuation of the property, you're ready to send it off to the Office of Real Estate Valuation, either by mail or drop off. The Office of Real Estate Valuation wants to make it clear that they have nothing to do with the tax rates. The tax rates themselves are set by city council. In the newsroom, I'm Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.